Welcome to the Kennel Connection training video for setting up and managing commissions for employees in Kennel Connection. In this video, we'll be looking at the settings necessary to record commissions for employees for services performed or items sold and to run reports calculating those commissions. The first area we are going to look at is the employee section. Go to the file tab, and then in the Setup section, select the Employees icon. The Employees section is where you'll set up your employees in the program. Enter your employees, give them an ID and a password, a first name and a last name, and any other additional contact information. If you are assigning employees to services, you'll want to make sure to check the box next to the service that employee will be providing. This ensures that the employee's name is selectable from the drop-down menu when making assignments for services. Then we're going to go to the Payroll Info tab. There we have a Pay Method option and we're going to select Commission. Then under the Commissions tab, we can set commissions for our employees individually. There are two ways to set up commissions for an employee for items. If an employee gets a flat commission for all commissionable items, we can put that amount here. If we have 20% in this commission box, any service or product that's marked as commissionable, that employee will get 20% of that sale. If we want to set up individual items with a specific rate, we can do so in the area below. For example, let's say this employee will receive 15% on all grooms. Simply click the Add button. This brings up our discounter screen. We click the Browse box next to Item Code, and that will take us into the inventory list. We can choose a system item, a product, or a service from the inventory section. In this case, I'm going to choose the grooming system option. Then I'm going to choose whether it's percentage or a dollar amount and enter that rate. Any items added in this area, the employee will receive that specific commission whenever their name is attached to a service or that specific service or product on an invoice. There is a third option for setting up individual rates and that's going to be in the inventory section Let's go to the file tab and in the setup section select inventory. You also have the option to create a flat rate for an item for all employees. For example, if I scroll down here to our nail trim option, if I want to set it up so that every employee that receives a commission gets the exact same commission on nail trims, say 10%, I would enter the 10% here in the inventory section. Take note. If an employee has a commission set up in the employee section, it will override any commission set up in the inventory section. There are a couple of areas in the list section where you can also set up default commission rates like we have here in the inventory section. Going to File, Setup, and then Lists, we're going to go to the Other Services tab. Any other services we create in the Other Services tab can have a commission set up for that item there specifically. The reason for this is that all other services, when billed, will show up with the Other Groom code from the inventory section. That is where Kennel Connection gets the information 
in inventory to place the item on the invoice. But it then pulls the rate from the list section. And so we can add a commission rate specifically for this service if we want that flat rate to apply to all employees. You'll notice in the list section here, I have checked the commissionable box for this item. Anything you are providing a commission for must have the commissionable box checked. Be sure to click Save after making any changes in any of these areas. So if we go back to the inventory section, we want to make sure that any item that we are offering commission on has a checkbox next to the commissionable setting. So previously when I set up my nail trim, you'll notice that the commissionable box is unchecked. If it's left this way, no one will receive a commission for this item. Back in the list section, I would like to point out for those Kennel Connection users using the pet sitting module that there is an additional pet sitting commission option here. Here we have the option to provide an additional commission per individual service on top of the commission that you would get when setting up the rate for that commission in the inventory section. To do so, you would set commission addition to yes, choose the commission type, and then enter the amount. When setting up an additional commission type in pet sitting or setting up any additional rates in our other services section, you'll still want to make sure that in the inventory section the pet sit inventory item is checked as commissionable for pet sitting and that the other groom inventory item is also checked for all other services. There are several levels here that we just went through, so I want to recap. Once again, from the employee section, we're setting up our commission options under the commissions tab where we can give a flat rate for all items in the system by entering it here, give a specific rate for a specific item here, or we can set a flat rate for an item for all employees, either in the inventory section, or for specific sections of the list section, other services, and pet sitting. And any items in the other services section or the inventory section that we were offering commission for must be marked as commissionable. Once you have those settings in place in the employee section, the inventory section, and potentially the other services section, you are ready to calculate commissions for your employees. The grooming module is one of the most common areas for commission setups, so I'll be using that as my examples going forward. If we create a reservation, for a groom, we can select our services and the employee that is performing the service. In order for an employee to receive a commission, they must be connected to the service. So in this case, we enter Arthur Treacher. Now, if we are creating other services, again, we'll want to choose the service being selected and then choose the employee performing that service so they can receive the commission. We can also do the same thing on the inventory tab. If we are offering a commission for a product sold in the facility, we can choose that item being sold and then choose the employee selling that item.
Once all this information is saved on the reservation, it will be applied to the invoice when we invoice this reservation. So when checking out this pet, and I say yes to create invoice, the items added will now appear on the invoice and the employee is connected to those items for commission purposes. You can check to confirm if an employee is attached to a service or an item by going to the line item on the invoice, right clicking on it. This will bring up a window that shows the employee currently attached to it. If no employee is attached to it, it will say employee none. Be sure to select each line item individually before right-clicking. If there is no employee attached to an item on an invoice and you need to assign the employee to that item or you need to change the employee that's currently assigned to that item, you can do so from here. Right-clicking on the line item, we will go to Modify Employee. This will bring up our screen with a list of all employees available, and we can change this to the employee we wish to have receive that commission. Once the invoice is saved, those items are commissionable. They will show up in the commissions report. Commissions for services or products appear on the commission report when an invoice is saved regardless of whether or not payment has been taken on that invoice. For a demonstration, I'm going to create another reservation and not assign an employee for that service. In this case, I'm going to leave the groom as a master list item. As you'll see, when I check this pet out and create an invoice, and I right-click on the groom, it says employee none. To add that employee, I can click modify employee and select the employee to attach. Once commissions are all set up and an invoice has been created, we can then run our commissions report. The Commission's Report is found under the Reports tab under Revenue. When we run the Commission's Report, it will give us the option to choose the date range. So in this case, I'm going to choose the 10th through the 16th. We can run a Commission Report for an individual employee, or if we leave it blank, for all employees in the system. And if we do it for all employees, we can also choose this option to break it down to one employee per page. In this case, I'm going to leave it for all employees and not break it down per page. This is how the commission report will look when you run it. The commission report will list each employee, all the items they receive commission on under their name, with the item itself, the price, before discount and after, the commission rate, any additional pet sitting rate, and then the total commission for each item and the total commission for each employee. If there are multiple employees, you'll also have a commission grand total underneath all of them. Now you'll notice that some of the employees that we were just assigning are not showing up on the commission report. If you have an employee that does not show up on the commission report when they should, there are a series of areas where you should check going back from the invoice to find out if it's a settings issue resulting in that employee being left out of the commission report. The first thing we're going to do is go to the invoice for that reservation. So in this case, I'm going to right click on this reservation, open customer, go to the financial tab, and then under the invoices tab, select the invoice. Here is the invoice for that service. We see that we had a doggy bone and a bath groom nail item. The first thing we want to do is double check to make sure that the employee was actually attached to that item on the invoice. Select the item and right click it. So we do indeed have Sally here connected to the doggy bone sale. 
And if we go down to our bath groom nail ear package and right click it, Marcus is indeed attach, is attached to it. If you find that the employee was not attached to that item, use the modify employee option to add that employee, save the invoice and run the commission report again. In this case, both employees are attached on the invoice. So we're gonna take the next step and look at the item in the inventory section. So in the inventory section, I'm going to find the doggy bone eye item. And I'm going to make sure the item has been marked commissionable. In this case, the item has not been checked as commissionable. And that is why the employee is not showing up on the commission report. Check the box for that item so it is commissionable. Click Save. Go back and run the commission report again to see if the employee now appears. If the item was an other service, such as the one that Marcus was attached to, first you want to check to make sure that other groom is marked as commissionable. This is where all other services will be billed through. Then we're going to close that and go to the list section, go to other services, and find that other service item, the BGNE package. As we can see, this has not been marked as commissionable. That's why they did not appear. I'm going to check that box here and click Save. Then you want to go back and run the commission report and see if that employee now shows up. If you've gone through all of that and the employee is still not showing up on the commission report, the final step is to make sure that there is a commission rate set somewhere for that item or employee. If, the in, if there is no commission rate here or in the inventory section for that item, we want to make sure that the employee has a commission rate of some kind set up in the employee section. If there's an, a percentage rate here, that should be applying to any item that's marked as commissionable. Or if you have that blank and you have items in here, you want to make sure that the item that you're looking for that commission is listed with a commission rate. After going through all those steps to confirm that all the settings are accurate, if you're still finding that the employee is not showing on the commission report, contact technical support with that specific invoice and employee ready for us to remote in and take a look at. There are numerous areas that need to be set up correctly for commissions to work properly. If you're looking for a guide to help you walk through those steps, we also have a knowledge base article that outlines the commission setup process. If you go to the Blue Crystal Software support site, support.bluecrystalsoftware.com, and navigate to our knowledge base, you can find an article on the commission setup in Kennel Connection 6. This article includes screenshots and a step-by-step -step process of how to set up commissions for the various items that we just went over in this video. This has been the Kennel Connection training video on setting up commissions for employees in Kennel Connection 6. If you have any additional questions regarding commission setup in the program, please feel free to contact the training department here at Blue Crystal Software. You can reach me directly at 888-486-4343, extension 307, or you can email us at training at bluecrystalsoftware.com.